What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I'm going to be taking you through my Triple H Elite Figure Collection. It's all about the game. And how you play it. It's all about control. And if you can take it. It's all about your daddy. So before we start, you guys already know that I like to set my figures up like a timeline from the beginning of their career to current day. Um, Triple H is one of my favorites of all time, definitely one of my top five favorites in ring of all time. But uh, we have the beginning of his career all the way over here, and then we have pretty much current day all the way over here. So I'm just going to take you through this, and let's start off with the beginning. So we'll start it off here, guys. At the beginning of Triple H's career, he was going by Hunter Hearst Helmsley at this time, the Connecticut Blue Blood. And this was his gimmick. You know, he was sort of like a New England sort of guy. And I kind of believe that. You know, he kind of has that look to him. So I think this, uh, you know, fit him well for the time at least. And this is that Network Spotlight Toys R Us exclusive Elite Triple H right here. I have three of them. Used to have four. I think I turned one into a custom. But I'm sure I'll take the other two right here and turn them into customs. I'd like to do some head swaps, give them some fix-ups to, uh, you know, change up the time. You could probably even head swap it with this Triple H. You could probably head swap it with one of his basics. So um, I'll probably do that, you know, give him some different attires to fit the timeline there. But this is how Triple H began his WWF career. And as we move on down, guys, you will see we have the Elite 23 Triple H right here. And this is when he did become Triple H, and this is when he was in Degeneration X. This is the first run, the original run, with China and Shawn Michaels. And then uh, later on right here with the helmet we have when he was with, you know, the New Age Outlaws, Road Dog, Billy Gunn, X-Pac. And, you know, they invaded WCW, or they were going to with the tank and everything. So that's what those two are right there. I'd like to convert this one on the left into a custom, probably. Maybe the lime green and black attire right there. But that is the second little version of Triple H that we got. Next, we have the early 2000s, 99-2000 look Triple H right here when he was with the... Uh, McMahon Helmsley era right there, the corporation. We got the uh, custom trunks right there. I really love this figure. I'd like to get the WWF title put on there. You know, I haven't added any titles to my shelves really, so I have to do that. Um, the one right here decked out in the jean jacket and blue jeans is his 2002 return on G in January 2002. Um, around 2001, I'm missing like a 2001 Triple H. He, you know, tore his quad, and this is his triumphant return. And the, uh, that was a Defining Moments figure, but I had to make my own custom one. So uh, that's pretty much what that is right there. So that's when he returned from qu his quad injury as a baby face. Right here, I don't have any of the, uh, you know, the Defining Moments trunks in from 2002, but I do have this one. In late 2002, you know, they decided they wanted to do an Undisputed Champion to represent Raw and SmackDown, which would be Brock Lesnar. And Eric Bischoff was the GM of Monday Night Raw, so he granted the World Heavyweight Championship, the big gold, to Triple H right here in the black polo. That's what that moment's supposed to be right there. That is a custom with the uh, Elite 40 IRS. Um, it is chipped off a little bit. You can see he's actually missing his ponytail over there that I got to glue back on there or something. But that's what that is. Next up, we have this custom WrestleMania 19 Triple H where he fought Booker T and retained the World Heavyweight Championship. This is obviously part of his early evolution run with the purple trunks. I really like those trunks. Beautiful Triple H custom. To the right there, we have the WWE Fan Central Elite Triple H, which is from 2003. Armageddon, I believe, where he fought Scott Steiner. This is still in Evolution days right there. And then we have another Evolution Triple H right here in the... Uh, and this is a custom as well. You can see the trunks there. The game with the silver cross. Um, one of my favorite attires. One of my favorite heirs of Triple H. So we have the Evolution Days right here with the purple, red, and black trunks. I'd like to get like a suited Triple H with a shaved face. I think that would look pretty cool. Right here we have the return of DX Triple H from 2006. You see the DX spray painted over his silver cross there. And you can see if you look behind the DX on the trunks, you will see that these two have the same exact decal. They didn't add the game. I don't know why they don't add the game to the trunks, but uh, they need to add that in the future. And I forgot to mention this Elite right here, the DX, is a Walgreens exclusive. These two Elites right here are the Elite 2 Triple H, and these two are actually part of his 2008-2009 run. I'd say 2008, you know, it's the longest reigning WWE Champion at that time. And this is really sick. I love this fix-up right here. really represents him well 
in 2008. This was the original head scan. I think it looks absolutely terrible. So I definitely had to head swap one of them. Coming down here, we have the Elite 7 Triple H, and this was around 2009, 2010, where he reunited uh, DX with Shawn Michaels. I need to uh, change that shirt. That shirt needs to be on this one. And then I have a shirt in my crowd that would go well with this era of DX Triple H. Next up, we have his 2011 to 2013 sort of run, the COO. Triple H in the ponytail where he was, you know, getting destroyed by CM Punk every single promo. So that's what that is. I believe that's a mail-away exclusive. I could be wrong. I wasn't collecting these figures back then, but that is what that is supposed to be. Next up, we have three WrestleMania 29 Triple H's here. One in the black t-shirt, and then the other one are shirtless right there. And I just have three of those. I'm sure I'll convert two of them into customs or something like that. Probably even some, you know, some of these. Just get a head and pop it on there, and then I'll do some custom trunks or something. So that's probably what I'll do with a couple of those. Right here we have Extreme Rules 2013 where he fought Brock Lesnar, if I'm not mistaken. It could be 2014, can't remember, but that's what that figure is. Have two of those. Right here we have WrestleMania 30, and that is the Elite 35 Triple H. And I would put, you know, them on display with his entrance robe and stuff, but I think that it would be too bulky to fit all of them on there. So that's what that is there. Coming down we have the WrestleMania 31 Triple H, one with accurate knee pads and one without. So that's what that looks like. Here we have a custom Royal Rumble 2016 Triple H where he won the Royal Rumble and won the WWE Championship from Roman Reigns. Next we have the WrestleMania 33 Elite, but it is representing his WrestleMania 32 look where he got defeated by Roman Reigns here in the red and white and black. Here we have my custom fantasy white Triple H in the white boots, knee pads, knee wraps, and trunks. I really love that figure. It's got the long beard on there. And this last Triple H over here is one that, you know, I'm trying to get turned into a custom. You know, you, you don't have any decals on the front there. That's why it's at the end of the line. Don't know what I'm doing with it yet. And then, of course, you have the Authority Triple H in the suit down here on the end. Looking fantastic. I love that figure a lot. I would like to get one in the long beard. I know we're getting an NXT basic with the long beard. I don't know if that's supposed to release still, but uh, you know, we will get to see. But that pretty much does it for my entire Triple H collection. You know, we're getting the Elite 60 coming out very soon, and you can go pre order that now at ringsidecollectibles.com using the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. I'll definitely be picking that figure up, probably a few of them, just to have, you know, a few bearded Triple H head scans. But that pretty much does it for my entire Triple H Elite figure collection, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below on future collection videos you would like to see. Do you like this format or would you like me to change the format? Just let me know down in the comment section below. Leave a like. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.